In March 2020, dedicated educators joined the ranks of health givers, working twice as hard and as much as four times longer preparing distance lessons for online classes. I salute these tenacious teachers. In this short video, I will give you a taste of the live and or online guest lecture series I've developed in the hopes that it can enhance your programming and provide a window into a pivotal time in cultural history. The 1980s New York City downtown scene changed music, art, film, and fashion forever. Neo-expressionism, graffiti, street art, and varied forms of performance and punk cabaret flourished. It created new and defiant cultural paradigms. For some, acceptance into the pantheon of art stardom brought unprecedented wealth and fame. By sharing images, stories, and context of the moment, I hope to engage students in the core issues and show how many of these concerns, such as gentrification, Racism, gender politics, and class conflict continue to resonate today. First, some background. I am an artist, a musician, and a writer with a long and varied career, some might say a checkered one. I was a young painter living and making art in the Lower East Side while teaching in Harlem throughout the decade. The people I met and firsthand experiences I had there are the inspiration for this series. I began writing about these experiences in 2018. In the fall of 2019, I was honored to have my essay, David Vonerovich, Culture Warrior, accepted as a merit paper at the Southeastern College Art Conference in Chattanooga. In February of 2020, I launched my first official tour, giving guest presentations on this subject. My midwinter trip to the College Art Association Conference in Chicago was bookended by guest lectures at Wright State in Dayton and the University of Toledo. I returned to North Carolina buoyant and prepared to expand the endeavor. My timing couldn't have been worse. The COVID-19 pandemic shutdown hit us all at that moment, so I have revamped my presentation, as many of us have, to a virtual one. Take a look at this brief dip into the topic and please reach out if it looks like something that will enhance your programming next semester or beyond. This inquiry promises to expand into many other eras. My endeavor to bring this history to current art enthusiasts is multifaceted. The processes that played out in that place and that time are definitely recurring in other places and times since then. There's much to learn about how we might help nurture creative communities to survive and hopefully thrive in this process, particularly with respect to such problems as gentrification and egalitarian access to the distribution of art. This is a task that should not be confined to a small exclusive segment of the population. I would like very much to share this series with you and to have the pleasure of becoming informed as to how your creative community is developing, especially now that COVID has changed everything again. These presentations are designed to be 45 minutes to an hour long PowerPoints. If live in-person seminars are not possible, online platforms that allow interaction are certainly available. Videos are being recorded as well for the pieces that I'm writing about the aforementioned artists. For future reference, clips of previous presentations are available on YouTube in a link that will follow. These clips are from a class at Warren Wilson College in Black Mountain, North Carolina. Thank you for lending an ear and an eye.